Hi you guys, welcome back. Okay, so it's time for me to shop my stash, or if you're not familiar with shop my stash, basically just go through my makeup collection and pick out some new products to use for the next two or so weeks. Um, <laughs> I'm not always on time with it, but yeah, just for the next few weeks. And it helps me to keep my makeup collection in rotation so i'm not using the same things over and over again so that's just in case you're not familiar with shop my stash is now when i do my shop my stashes i go through the previous items from my shop my stash that i've already chosen and have been using and just kind of give you my thoughts on them and then shop and get some more stuff but you know what i got a delivery right before I sat down to film and I said you know what I'm going to do a quick little unboxing <laughs> for you guys on film so this is from playing and makeup by Yolando they did go ahead and deliver my package today and what I ordered was the two collab palettes that they did the last one is the one with Beats by Deb and the other one I can't remember what it's called because I'm not familiar with the person that she collabed with so yeah I figured I'd just go ahead and do a quick little unboxing along with you guys in this video so it looks like it's pretty nicely packaged and if you guys don't know Planet and Makeup by Yolando is one of my favorite makeup brands because her palettes her shadows are very very pigmented bright and colorful so i do love her stuff so got my little invoice here so let's take a look and see what we got okay so this palette here on top this is the artistry vault by melissa this is the one where i couldn't remember the name because i'm not familiar with who Melissa is but let's open her up and she typically packages her palettes really really well so I typically don't have any damage I think I might have gotten one shadow damaged before and I already have about five of her palettes so ooh, pretty I don't know can you guys see that it's all glittery and shiny and whatnot okay very very cute okay this is where we pray everybody just bow your head have a moment of silence for a moment always pray before you open your palettes okay <laughs> so yes no casualties okay so i want to blind you with the mirror oh my goodness look at those colors oh <laughs> y'all know how much i love color when I see palettes like this, oh man, it just makes my heart skip a beat. Look at that green. Look at that blue. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. And it's a beautiful fall palette as well. Yes, okay, so I'm happy. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> and it came in one piece. And you guys, I'm really working on like getting rid of my boxes. I had kept all the boxes for all my palettes and it was just ridiculous. Okay, so this is the Beats by Deb. Look at that. Okay, she on there looking super fly. If you guys don't know who Beats by Deb is, you guys have got to check her channel out. She does the most fly looks, okay? So check her out. So let's look at this palette. Look at that. Look at that. That is super fly, okay? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. Gorgeous. Look at all those greens, blues, purples. You guys know those are my favorites. Favorites. But you also have these beautiful, like, warm tones up here. This pink, beautiful shimmers. Okay. Yep. I'm here for it. I'm loving both of them. And you shh, you guys have no idea how happy I am that my palettes came in one piece, okay? Yolando, she do pretty good packaging, so very happy about that. Okay, so I don't really have a lot that I want to say because the majority of these products 
I have already used in stashes, previous stashes and talked about. So let me just quickly pull out two items that I know I'm going to keep for the upcoming weeks. First one being my DJ's Unique Boutique Loose Powder. I use the shade Honey and yeah, I love this powder and I'm going to continue to use it for a while because this stuff is the bomb. It does not get cakey. It does not make me look old and wrinkly. I like this powder. Also, this e.l.f. finishing powder, if you guys watched my last Shop My Stash, you know that this has been in my Shop My Stash for a few weeks and I just was not trying it out. I don't know why. You know, it's just a regular finishing powder, but this is what it looks like. And I finally tried it out and I actually like it. So I need to give it a little bit more play to, you know, see how it holds up. So these two powders are staying for the next few weeks for sure. Okay, let me do a quick run through of the newer items. Now, these are the two foundations that I used. Um, this one is the Huda Beauty. It was on sale, so I went ahead and grabbed two shades just so I could try it out. And this one is the Nutmeg shade. This foundation has coverage, okay, like you would not believe. This is a foundation where you put it on and you don't want your face to move day, night, afternoon, evening, morning, whatever. Major coverage and is very matte. So I do like this foundation, I really do. I don't have any complaints about it. It has a slight scent, but it went away for me fairly quickly. So yeah, I do like this. I'm going to switch it out because I have some other foundations that I want to try. I also um, pulled this Too Faced Born This Way. This is the new matte foundation. I have the shade, what is it, Spiced Rum. I picked the same shade in this that I have in their regular foundation and it works out really, really nicely. I like this foundation a lot. This one has a really nice, kind of like, even though it's full coverage and matte, it still looks kind of natural and healthy to me. I don't know, it doesn't have that super dry, uncomfortable feeling. I actually really like this. So I think if you like matte foundations that you'll probably like this, I do. Okay, this Fenty Beauty Concealer, I decided to give it another try. Um, it's the shade 390. I've used this before in the past and I was kind of iffy about it. What I found is I actually do like this concealer. It's a little bit of a drier formula than I like. It dried down a little bit faster than I liked when I was putting it on, but the coverage is nice, really, really nice. So I actually like this concealer and I and when I previously used it, I thought I hated it. <laughs> it's not my favorite because it's a little bit drier than I like, but the coverage is good. So I can definitely rock with this, but I'm gonna try something else. Okay, um, is there anything newer that I tried as well? This Beauty Bakery So Icy um, Highlighter. Very, very nice. You guys saw me swatch it and everything, I believe, when I picked it. Um, I did get this from like the boxy add-on or whatever. Very, very beautiful highlight. You see that? Yeah, I did get this from the boxy add-ons and I love it. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Even though I'm not really with the loose highlighters, yo, if you can get your hands on this, especially for sale, like in the boxy add-on like I did, it's bomb. So this one is in the shade Glazed from Beauty Bakery. Yo, look at that. Let's see, was there anything else new that I tried out? Oh, this Glam Glow. This Glam Glow Moisture Trip Omega Rich Moisturizer, yeah picked this out to use and I actually like it. It's not my favorite moisturizer, I'll be honest with you, but I don't have any complaints about it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just light green. It's very moisturizing. Um, but I have other moisturizers that are more moisturizing than this. <laughs> so it's not a new favorite of mine, but it's definitely nothing wrong with this moisturizer. It's very nice, has a very, very soft scent, nothing aggressive. So yeah, I really like this and I'll definitely be using it more in the future. Um, this Revolution Conceal and Define, this is a blur priming serum. 
I believe I used this before. I can't remember, but there's nothing special about this uh, priming serum. It just feels like a really nice moisturizing serum. I like it as well. It feels good, but when I put it on, it definitely feels like a moisturizing serum. It's not thick. It's not you know heavy or anything like that it absorbs into the skin rather quickly but i wouldn't use this as a primer for myself just because with primers i like them to you know kind of blur out my skin and fill in my pores a little bit you know help me look a little bit more youthful this i feel like it really just moisturizes <laughs> it really does for me it's just a nice moisturizer so very nice but i wouldn't use it as a primer not for myself at least you guys already know i've been using the lms rose oil i'm going to keep using this actually i like it i like using it prior to my moisturizer it helps with dryness um, especially around my nose for some reason this time of year around my nose gets really dry so I like to use this it helps out with that so I'm gonna keep this in here I know you guys are sick of hearing about that because I've had that for a while this here was something I got in my ipsy bag this no pore blunt priming water from uh, touch and soul I really like this stuff I really do I like to kind of just put some in my hand and just kind of you know tap it together and tap it onto my face i like it because it smells like roses and it also it's like a priming water with a touch of oil so it also gives the same effect for me as like the elemis rose oil rose whatever that stuff is it gives me the same effect because it has a little bit of oil in it so it feels good nice soft moisturizing um priming water i like it very lightweight for my bronzers, I have three bronzers. Don't ask me why. <laughs> this is the Hula Toasted. Um, yeah, this bronzer, very, very nice bronzer for me. Um, very natural looking bronzer. I like it, nothing new. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it out so I can try something else. I also have this Full Spectrum CoverGirl bronzer. It's a little bit richer. This one is in the shade Ebony. I don't know why I can never find the name of that. But this one is in the shade Ebony. So as you can see, it's a little bit darker, a little bit richer. But I really like this bronzer as well. This is very, very nice, you know, for us, you know, warmer, darker, richer skin girls. Very, very nice bronzer if you want something a little bit deeper. If you don't necessarily like to contour, this is a good option because it's kind of like that good in-between bronzer contour shade. I like it. And I also pulled my Anastasia Beverly Hills. I hadn't used this in eons. And um, I realized that it's just a regular bronzer. <laughs> I used to think it was so special, so amazing, so wonderful. But it's just a decent bronzer. It's okay. It's actually not my favorite. So I guess that's what happens when you use a lot more different products and try different things. You find out what you really, really like. And this is just okay for me. This is mahogany. The other highlighter that I chose was this Kiss Glow and Bronze Powder. Face and body, you guys know this stuff is amazing. I've talked about it several times. Just in case you haven't seen it before, Lord have mercy. If you are a woman of color, this is a must-have highlighter. <laughs> it's so freaking pretty. It's gorgeous. Other powders that I chose, my Too Faced uh, Born This Way. You guys know this is one of my favorites have hit major major pan in this and I think I have yeah I have spiced rum in this powder foundation as well I also chose the Elan this is the earth dark this is a luxury pressed powder that's what they call it in earth dark very nice powder I will say this is an excellent powder I love using this to set my face it adds additional coverage it lasts all day and it's really really pretty I like it it's nice and soft it's beautiful I pulled this black opal true color <laughs> stick um, this is one of their you know like foundation sticks or whatever I use this one for contour obviously because it's so freaking dark um, but I don't even think I used this. I don't really think I was in the mood for like dark contour like this. So I don't even think I used it, 
but this is something that actually is like a staple. So just in, I don't typically use cream products for contour and bronzer, so that's why I don't pull this stuff. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just keep this as one of my staples for now, you know, because I do like to use it every now and then. This is a cream blush from Fenty Beauty. I have Daiquiri Dip. I don't know why I can never remember the name of this, but this stuff is messy, you guys, because I always use a sponge. I use a sponge to apply my cream uh, blushes. This color is so, so gorgeous. I mean, it's beautiful. I love these corally shades. So yeah, I actually am getting more familiar and comfortable with using cream um, blushes and stuff. So I'm glad that I grabbed this, um, but I'm gonna put it away. Okay, just a few more things for mascara. I have my Pure Fully Charged and I have my Maybelline Lash Discovery Mini Brush Mascara. The reason why I really like this is just the size. There's nothing amazing about this mascara at all. It's not anything phenomenal, but the size of the brush is just perfect for my lower lashes. And it um it's a decent mascara you know it's not anything i'm trying to show you guys the brush it's not anything where i'm like oh my gosh it's amazing yada yada but if you're looking for a decent mascara for your lower lashes and you're not trying to do anything wild or crazy with them this works just fine i like it um and i'll probably purchase it again because of the size of the wand so i'm actually going to keep this as well this pure uh, fully charged mascara I only used this a few times because I actually just came across this and found it in my collection not too long ago so I just threw it in with my makeup it's not bad at all it's a very nice mascara it really does think thicken and lengthen my lashes but since I've been wearing falsies more it's like it doesn't really matter so yeah I, mm, I might keep this as well and lastly, for setting spray, I was using the MAC Prep and Prime um, setting spray. I have this cute little, you know, baby bottle here. Um, I'll probably switch this out because, I mean, it works very nicely. You guys know uh, the Prep and Prime is bomb, but I have a lot of setting sprays that I need to go through, so I'm going to switch this out. I almost forgot I pulled this um, crayon case blush binder that I got. This was a huge drop and a huge launch for them. Their shipping is ridiculously slow though, just to put that out there. Well, at least for me it is. But yeah, this blush binder is bomb, okay? If you haven't seen it, if you are a blush lover, you will love this, okay? It's already sold out several times, so um, hopefully she'll make it a permanent item. But these blushes, highly pigmented, they do last all day. And there's so many different shades in here. It's like every skin tone, you know, lighter, medium, darker, and very, very pretty colors, as you can see. Now, there are some really dark shades in here that you can use for contour and bronzer as well. So I just, I really like this. This is one blush book where if you got this, this will be all you need for the rest of your life, <laughs> okay? But I do have some other blushes, so I'm gonna switch her out. Now, before I start shopping my, you know, makeup collection for my new products to use, I wanted to go through my little bin of my latest <laughs> deliveries, stuff that I've ordered and that have just been delivered like within the last week or so. And I actually have some items in here that I think I wanna use. Now, I do have a couple of new foundations. I did pick up this NARS. I think I got this in my last haul actually. But I do have this new NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation in the shade Medium Deep Macau. So I actually wanna try this out. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this foundation. Um, I also have my Beauty Creations Flawless Stay Foundation that I just got. This is medium to full coverage. So just to make it easy for me, I think I'm going to choose these two foundations to play with over the next couple of weeks and see if I like them. If not, of course, I will switch them out. Now, I also got uh, this foundation from the Lip Bar. 
This is their Skin Serum Foundation. I picked the shade 5.01, it looks like. It looks very neutral. It looks like a very neutral shade. I did swatch it and it looks fine. I can work with it, but this is a very neutral shade for me. I don't know how I feel about this. This is one of those um, foundations that has the built-in brush. So, you know, I might save this for my next shop mustache, but it's kind of like a trippy, a trippy situation. This is what it looks like, just in case you're curious. So, yeah, it has the built-in brush, but what I'm glad is, is that you can open it up and you can open the foundation, you know, and just kind of get it out if you want to like that because I'm really not with the brush applicators it's kind of like nasty to me <laughs> so yeah I don't know we'll see when I do decide to go ahead and use that but I have this as well now I did pick up a concealer from the lip bar as well this is the quick conceal caffeine concealer very cute packaging I like that square packaging and I got the shade cinnamon four shade four cinnamon and you know just looking at it it looks a little light but you know what honestly i think this will probably be a nice brightening concealer for me and yeah it definitely has some serious coverage okay it looks like yeah it has a little bit of moisture to it it's not super duper dry so yeah i think i'm gonna try this out i will try this for a uh, concealer uh, also from the lip bar, I picked up this face palette. This is the Vogue Minute Finish Face Palette. It has the bronzer, contour, blush, and highlight. Look at that, very, very cute, like all in one, you know? Super cute. But this is what it looks like. Yes, okay. I'm super duper excited to try this out, so. I'm going to pull this. I'm probably going to still pull another blush and highlight and <laughs> contour, but I definitely want to try this out. Y'all know me. Um, I also got some stuff from, who is this? Oh, what's the brand? This is that Princess Aunt Azteca stuff. GLF. Yeah, I got some stuff from GLF, but I'm not going to use that. I got some palettes. You know, these new LA Girl palettes. So cute. Okay so super cute neutral for fall but they're gorgeous though okay so yeah i'm probably gonna end up playing with those as well but i think from my new goodie basket that is all i wanted to choose my foundations concealer and a face palette so now we can go ahead and shop my stash okay so you guys know i like to pick um a serum and a moisturizer and a setting spray first so i'm over here where my serums are and huh, I'm gonna try not to take forever, you guys, but I have no idea what um, serum I wanna use. You know what? Okay, so I got this, these Farsali um, Skin Tune Blur Serums. Uh, is this a primer though? Perfecting Primer, hmm. Oh, you know what? I will pull this. I will because I've never tried it before. As you can see, it's not even open. I got this from the boxy add-on. So yeah, I will use this as my primer and see how that works. Never tried it. Okay, also I need a serum and that's the other Farsali that I got. I want to try this new um, tomato serum. I can't even see the name. It's so bright. Uh, but yeah, I got this from the boxy add-on as well. So I'm going to go ahead and try this serum. Lily raves about it. She said it's bomb. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and try this out. It's a tomato serum, you guys. I don't know. Okay, so I already picked a primer. So let me go ahead and grab a setting spray while I'm over here. You know, I haven't used any um, like drugstore setting sprays in a while, I don't think. This is a uh, Milani Prep and Refresh, so it's not really setting. Oh, my Milani Make It Last. This used to be my absolute favorite. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and pull this. I'm keeping it real simple today, you guys. I am not doing a whole lot of searching, so yeah. Uh, let me see. All these Morphe's. 
But yeah, I'll go ahead and pull the Milani. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> I'm watching my girl Sussex Sandra. She is the unboxing queen, okay? If you want to know anything about unboxings, definitely check her channel out. Hey, Sussex Sandra. <laughs> okay, so I do not need a foundation. I already picked a foundation, but I do need a moisturizer. Okay, so let's see what's happening. I haven't used my Neutrogena in a while. Mm. Ooh, Elf. Should I go drugstore? This Mamond uh, Rose Water Gel Cream, absolute favorite, favorite, favorite. Uh, what are we doing, you guys? I think I'm gonna go ahead and do, uh, do I want my Juno & Co? This is that Moonshine Cream. This stuff is bomb, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna do Drugstore. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my Elf Hydration Face Cream. I think that will work. Okay, so let me pick a mascara right quick. Um, I don't even, you know what, did I say I wanted a new mascara? I know I kept those other two, but you know what, I did. I got this sample of this Fenty Beauty mascara. I am super curious about it, so I'm going to pull this. <sighs> blush. Um, I want to use a new blush. Uh, look at this. Gorgeous. What color is this? This is hot frenzy yeah that looked like something that i like <laughs> hot frenzy uh it's winter let me try and chill out a bit this one i really want to try this is from jcat love struck it's like a blush and it has like a highlighter in the center what color is this it's a blusher bronzer pudding pop it's really pretty though i want to see how this looks on me so i'm gonna try this too you know, with it being fall, I feel like I need to pick like some deeper, kind of richer shades when it comes to blush. This is from Moira. I haven't used this yet. It's called Fiery Lover. And it has like these two, you know, kind of darker shades, like a rosy, mauvey shade, and then also like a warm, you know, I don't know, spicy cinnamon type shade. Hmm, maybe I'll try that uh, and see if I like it. Okay, so I'll use, I'll try this as well. And I definitely am gonna pull this. I forgot that I got this. Let me open it up. This is the Cream Blush Palette in Deep from e.l.f. And do you see those nice, dark, rich shades in there? But this is cream, so I wanna check this out and play with this. So yeah, I will pull this okay so for highlighter i think i'm going to just stick to this drawer so i don't overwhelm myself <laughs> and i haven't tried this sungasm highlighter yet from catrice um i don't know did i try that i don't think i did i have this golden soleil baked bronzer from jcat now, of course, this says baked bronzer, but I'm feeling like, you know, this is a highlighter for me, of course. Uh, Cancun Golden Tan. Yeah, I'm going to try this. This looks really, really pretty. And I also want to try one of these um, Milk Cosmetics highlighters. Which one is this? Queen B, yeah, I think I need to try Queen B. I swatched this one for you guys in my last shot, my stash. So if you're curious about a swatch, check it out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this to use this time. Now I already picked a concealer. You guys um, know that new one that I got from the lip bar, but I do want a backup concealer just in case I don't like it. And I just used my e.l.f. Oh the rare beauty i tried this out in a video and actually found that it was quite nice not bad at all so i did just use it in that video that one time and i think i will pull this so i can keep playing with it and make sure that i like it <laughs> so yeah i'll go ahead and pull this from rare beauty i have the shade that looks like 430w <laughs> okay so 430w i'm going to pull this to use as well bronzer is going to be easy because i have a new bronzer that i want to play with it's this new revolution 
bronzer this is the coffee bronzer in the shade mocha look at this packaging you guys isn't that cute oh my gosh it's so cute um let me open her up for you okay so that's what she looks like beautiful beautiful bronzer looks like there's a little little bit of shimmer but not enough to really be able to see so yeah i think i'm going to pull this so i can try it out oh that's gorgeous uh, i don't want another backup bronzer I've kind of been in the cream mood. Do I want to play around with this Fenty Cream Bronzer and Chocolate? I think I do. I think I do. Yeah, I'm going to pull this too. Okay, so I already have my loose uh, setting powder from DJ's Unique Boutique. So I just need a pressed powder. These J-Cat Aquasurance powders, you guys, oh my goodness, so bomb. Those things are so bomb um it's sephora i think this is the yeah this is the micro smooth powder from sephora i haven't used this in a while it seemed like when i used it it didn't really do anything so i don't know i'll have to play with it again another time i have this uh covergirl full spectrum this is new this is the Matte Ambition All Day Powder Foundation. I mean, it's new to me, you guys know. I don't mean new, new. Um, what shade is this? Deep Neutral 2. Yeah, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this for my setting powder and see how it works. So you guys know I already have my little, you know, lipstick holder where I have selected different lipsticks to try and use you know more frequently just pull them out of my main makeup stash and I'm still working on these I have added some these here in the front are my new Pat McGrath uh what are they lip shines oh my goodness these things are so bomb you guys so I have started using those I've also added my Juvia's Place lipsticks that I picked up these are just one in each of the nude categories the mauve the chocolate and the peach I believe of course I also have my new DJ's unique boutique collection here I have the lipstick she also has her glosses along with the lip pencil so I have both of my kits right here <laughs> so I can grab them easily along with you know a bunch of other stuff I also added these um, Kylie and Coco lip glosses that I just picked up on sale from Ulta so I did add those to my little lipstick stash to use as well so you guys know that's what I'll be using for lip products okay you guys so now I'm back over here I did pull a couple of palettes you guys know I'm working on about five million palettes for the fall <laughs> that I've already selected that I'm already playing with and actually having a good time with. I had some issues coming up with a fall look at first, but I actually have a few that you guys might really like coming up. So, uh, but I did pull these two new ColourPop palettes. They're not new, but they're new to me. You know, they had a sale, so I went ahead and grabbed a couple of their palettes just to um, add them to my collection for fall. This one is good as gold. And what I really, really liked about this palette was just the golds, <laughs> quite honestly. The gold shimmers in here, oh, they look so, so pretty to me. And I'm so happy that it has like these darker shades that I can play with and deepen up my look. So yeah, I am going to, um, you know play with this check it out and see how I like it of course it would just be a very basic neutral look but that gold oh my goodness do I want to swatch these let me see what's happening oh uh, yo let me just swatch some of these couple of these golds for you just so you can see what I'm talking about okay so that is just what a couple of the golds look like and let me swatch this other one here what is this these shadows feel a little bit chunky chunkier than i'm used to but they're very Ooh, hello oh that's gorgeous yes okay so that's this shade right here very pretty what is it nugget about it 
very pretty i like that oh that's gorgeous hello and then this other one is the mulan i have been eyeing this mulan and said i wasn't gonna get it because it reminds me of the tati palette to me it's just like a mini version of the tati palette but y'all know i'm an addict so i went ahead and grabbed it <laughs> there we go okay the art in here is really pretty though gorgeous but doesn't it just look like a mini version of the tati palette it does to me very very pretty i may as well swatch a couple of these for y'all too huh why are their shimmers like so chunky right now or is it just oh oh my goodness look at that i don't know if you can see that but this one here is kind of like a gold and red duo situation oh that's pretty oh my goodness that's gorgeous and this one is really pretty but it's kind of chunky i don't know how i feel about all that chunkiness it's pretty though yeah those are gorgeous not bad okay so yeah that is the mulan palette and i also pulled this pat mcgrath midnight sun to play with um i picked this up earlier this year i guess i went on like a pat mcgrath frenzy and order some of her palettes and this one i thought was really really pretty and with all the pat mcgrath hype right now and i'm still waiting on my palette but anyway <laughs> with all the hype i was like you know what let me go ahead and play with one of her palettes so this one is the midnight sun oh my gosh oh beautiful let me go ahead and swatch some of these for y'all course I'll swatch the beautiful oh shifting and specialty type shades for y'all so y'all can see what's happening up in here let's see how Pat McGrath compares to Colourpop okay so those <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Does it look like I should be paying $125 for them shimmers <laughs> next to the color pops? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so those are from the Midnight Sun. So this is my shop my stash items that I'll be using for the next few weeks Thank you so much for hanging out with me to choose these items. I hope you had a good time Let me know what you think down in the comment section below about the items I chose If you use these items or you're curious about them or maybe you saw something that you want to pick up Let your girl know. So that is it. Don't forget to hit that like button and I'll see you on my next video. Toodles!